You can't get through your day without. Oh, Power 1017. All right, it is a Wick Wednesday, Woman Crush Wednesday. It's 621. We're live on Twitch. Make sure to follow, stream us, Power 1017 FM. Also, Facebook, Jess. A lot of headlines going on today. What you got? All right, so the first thing this was making all the headlines is a bunch of couples in an Arkansas park. They got married during the eclipse on Monday. During the eclipse. The pictures are now trending online. I must say, they are very beautiful. But it was a free event, and couples only had to get their marriage license. Mm. The couples are now, you know, opening up, talking about the experience, and there's tons of interviews online, pictures, and videos. I would say it was very, very cool. like, fascinating to be outside during neat. that time. It was neat. Very cool to be outside during that time. It was. And then here locally, police have not identified the victim of the crash that happened in Magnolia. The victim has now been identified as 46-year-old Dianel Gordy Thomas of Magnolia, and the Delaware State Police are asking for the public's help in that fatal crash investigation. Police are searching for witnesses, and if you have any information at all, please call 302-698-8457. And in Salisbury, three men have been arrested on child sex abuse charges following a months-long investigation. In November of 2023, the Wicomico County Child Advocacy Center launched an investigation into two men identified as Jesse Scott and Major Purnell Sr. after receiving a child sex abuse report. It was determined that the pair had sexually abused a child several years prior. Mm. After the findings were presented to a grand jury in late February, the pair were each charged with first and second degree rape, sex abuse of a minor, sexual solicitation of a minor, indecent exposure, assault, and multiple sex offenses. The investigation led to the discovery of an additional victim who identified the suspect as Alonzo Parker Jr. Parker was taken into custody on April the 4th and charged with child abuse, custodian, multiple counts of third and fourth degree sex offense, multiple counts of second degree assault, perverted practice. Scott and Purnell remained at the Wicomico County Detention Center while Parker was released on $25,000 bond. The investigation also revealed that the three were affiliated with the New Dimension Family Ministries located at 1907 Jersey Road in Salisbury for several years. Mm. If anyone has any information related to this investigation, please call the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office at 410-548-4898. Wow. What a sad situation. Man, awful. Mm. And in response to significant delays in the rollout of the new FAFSA application, the Delaware Department of Education recently announced additional support for its students. The department is extending scholarship deadlines and working with Stand By Me to ensure that students are able to complete their FAFSA application correctly. Officials say that this will help students get the financial aid that they need to plan their future and pursue education at the next level. Students are encouraged to visit the website DelawareStudentSuccess.org for more information. Okay. And we're in the middle of it, and it's a mess. Oh, you are. <laughs> 624. <laughs> it's Bill and Jessica show coming up. we got a 47 ABC update and Jessica Celebrity Buzz. <laughs>